maturity. Mm -hmm. It's a point of cut. When we die natural death, we call it, at the end, is everything is prepared for it. All the cells deliver the energy, all the souls of the cells deliver the energy to where it's supposed to go. In a way, when you die in natural death, it's just like when you, you know, when you are traveling, uh, traditionally you go from, let's say, uh, England to America, family comes, if one, each one gives you a gift or something to take with you, you're going there, you're not coming back. Uh, to remember us, the soul of the physicality and the strength of the soul of the man, they give all their energy as a gift to the soul to move on. Then you still have the soul, the physical soul of the body which stays behind. But what we call, at a point of death, the soul of physicality becomes part of the soul of the man. It delivers by the way it carries. Then you have the soul of physical cells which stay behind the physical body of the man. And it's progressive. It's like we know you're going, we give you everything gradually, ready to go, and it comes to the point of tipping point. I cannot hold on anymore. You close your eyes, the field goes, and that's what we do in the machines. Your soul strength is bigger than the soul of the physicality. At the point of accident, that cuts off. The soul has not reached the maturity, and the soul of physicality does not deliver everything which he has. If the soul of physicality is much stronger uh, in a field that, than the soul of the man, the soul of physicality sometimes remains till it gives that energy to the soul. Separation is too fast. <clears throat> and uh, we see this, we call it ghosts. It's the soul of physicality has not completed its transition. And we, we, we give revenue, we, we have it till it just delivers, till they find, they start to become like a twin star, the other one has to match up whatever is to be given. Cannot go anywhere till it's done. And this process is uh, not much you can do. We, sometimes we can give from our soul to the soul of physicality to get that bridge, to get that match up with the soul. There are a lot of things we can explain what happens physically. You say you see ghosts, you see shadows, whatever. These are the, what we call the spirit, the soul of physicality which has not delivered totality what it was supposed to be delivered to the soul of the man for its elevation, for its move. What I call, it wasn't a smooth handle where something is left behind. And the soul travels, souls finds his position according to the strength where he should be. And he might have been another 20 years, would have gathered more, it would be in a different position. So, Mr. Kesh, was, was Thor's soul aware of this? Was, was his soul of physicality aware? It's, there are different ways of life. Soul of physicality bring us to a position of the handover. Or the physicality moves that other things create that condition of the separation, like accident. Some of the accidents are predestined by the soul. They have completed. Doesn't mean something is left behind. Otherwise, all of us die in a natural course. But it's a very clear separation. So, Mr. Ket, can I just quickly say, sorry. Um, so, if, if Dor, um, his soul, uh, um, obviously was involved with um, his physicality, his soul, his body, his, his everything that he was, is was yeah. involved with the foundation. He was about to bring about a very uh, beautiful um, uh, condition for the whole of humanity that could have brought about many, many beautiful um, experiences for many people in physicality and beyond. So um, 
if that has now been uh, taken away um, in the physicality, um, how does that um, get dispersed amongst all the souls? How does that um, change um, within the field? What do you mean? Explain. How will... Um, Dor is now um, taking another position. Um, he yeah. was put in, in a place or his soul took into a position to serve and give to humanity. That's mm -hmm. been taken away um, yeah. in whichever shape or form. So how how will the souls involved around or the physicalities around the, the, the soul of door that have been involved, how do they um, uh, how do they get accommodated? It's something partially is preordained, partially is um, to be done. We we can be accidentally we can come to an accident, but if the soul is not ready to go, you come out of that accident. But if the accident is is there as part of the process of the transition, the soul will do their jobs. So when so let's take it to another position, Mr. Kesh. So when you have a, another person that is um, um, on a let's say on a, a uh, in a conflict zone, and they stand before another and they take that life with an aim uh, directly, is this the same? Or if it, if it's done no. indirectly through somewhere else, is it the same? Not really. No. Um, there is, you and I can come up with a lot of examples of it. Mm -hmm. When you target deliberate to take a life, you're responsible for that life. You pay, you, you, you have to find a balance with your soul. This is how we see with a lot of soldiers when they come from war zones. Is not the gun and the blood, is the guilt of what they've done and what they've taken that they have to pay for it all, they have to release for the balance of what they've taken. And that brings a psychological condition. They say we've been to conditions, horrible places, and we've seen things, and then we are psychologically damaged. Ask a question Did you take a life? Were you the cause of a life to be taken? That everybody down the line pays, yes. Then you're responsible for it, you pay for it. You, you have to balance the books. Is that magnet, as I always say, Rick puts in the middle, everything has to come to balance. But Mr. Kess, there are many um, ways uh, of being on the, that, um, in that position, there's the, the psychological um, positions that to cause many distress and um, for them to um, to lose their physicality. So this happens in many different ways. It's not just on in a war zone. It can be in no, in, in, in many situations in normal life. This happens many all many the time. all the time. Seven billion different ways. Mm -hmm. They're not the same all the time. Seven billion different ways. It's, and plus all the animals come to an end in different ways. It's not just exclusively on that. So the soul of an animal that goes through a conflict that doesn't have the same intellectual understanding that we believe. It has. Of it course has. it has. I know. I know it does, yes. Yeah, I'm going in there to become the top dog. So mm -hmm. I do anything. So if I do that, is not instinct, is my decision. You understand? It's yeah. a very, very simple, we, we call them animals, but have a look at them, they eat, they have an eating pattern, they know where to sleep, they know how to show affection to another one. So it's not just the animal, just because it suits them, they don't talk. They have everything as we have. They feel sorrow, they feel pain, they feel joy. Yeah? Yep. So it's it's our imagination to 
to justify that the man is better, is the king of animals, and he can do this and that. But they have to see. You see when a whale dies, what the other whales do. You see when a dog dies, what the other dogs do. And this is the same yeah. as the case for all a vertical friends? Everything. And all course. souls present. All souls, even in deeper space, even in the cosmos. It's not the exclusivity of man, because man when makes it exclusive, he is, he is something special. The only speciality of the man is uh, he thinks he's a special, that's all. There is not much, there's not much more to it. Mm -hmm. we, we would like to think more, we would like. Um, in the past few days, I had to encounter a lot of emotions, which I never wanted to. But I, I woke up this morning, I said, why did I have to go through this? What was there for me to learn? And what was, what was I supposed to bring for the others? <laughs> 